We've got the new Porsche Macan and it got a refresh. Let's get in, go for a drive. Nice. Yeah, yep. We're in the Porsche Macan. Big shout out to Lewis at Porsche Center Vancouver for yep. lending us this car for a couple of days. We appreciate it. Andrea, what's under the hood of this thing? A two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine with a seven speed automatic transmission. 261 horsepower, a bump and horsepower of 13, 295 pound feet of torque, standard all wheel drive, and you've got to put premium fuel in this Macan. So that's the base model. Other models include the Macan S with 375 horsepower and the GTS with 434 horsepower. Gone is the Macan Turbo. So what Porsche's done here is they've taken their premium engines and moved them down into the lower trim. So the turbo engine is now the GTS engine and yeah. the GTS engine is now the S. So you get more. What a lineup. And honestly, I feel like I'm really getting more for my money now. It's a lot of money. That hasn't changed. All right, what do you get with the base model Macan? What are the key standard features? The base trim comes with a 10.9 inch touchscreen, wireless Apple CarPlay, heated front seats and a heated steering wheel, eight way power seats, Alcantara and leather seats, a power tailgate, 10 speaker audio system, LED headlights and three dimensional LED tail lights and light strip, 19 inch wheels, front and rear park assist and lane departure warning. New center console with all these buttons. What are we gonna put it in? You gotta put it in S for subscribe. And if you can hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when all of our reviews drop and then you can watch them. And we do this, the couple car review twice a week. The first one drops on Wednesday. We put out another one on Saturday. So make sure you hit the button and subscribe, hit the bell at the same time, but also follow along on Instagram. It's motormouth underscore Andrea to get a behind the scenes what's coming up. And for me, it's motormouth underscore auto and the links are below. This video is brought to you by Canada Drives. Shop online for your next used vehicle and enjoy the convenience of two-year door delivery and the confidence of a seven-day love it or return it guarantee. Visit canadadrives.ca to learn more. You know what we should do, Andrea? What? Swing by Orange Julius <laughs> and get a papaya metallic. That's what we're driving. Oh my gosh, I love this color. <laughs> now, one thing I want to talk about before we get into the drive is this car has been equipped with 21 inch wheels yeah. with all season tires. Yeah. And I'm amazed by how comfortable it is, even with these big wheels. Yeah, and the cabin is quite quiet. These are GT design wheels. They're new for 2022 and they're in high gloss black. I I think they look great. The other thing is they have gone back to available red calipers on yeah. S models and above. A lot of people like those red calipers. Now you've got all that grip with those big 21 inch mm -hmm. wheels. How are you finding the steering, the feedback, the bumpiness, all of that? I love the way the Macan handles. It's got a sport tuned chassis, which really makes you feel the road. This is a wonderful performance driven vehicle. It's the best of both worlds. It drives like a sports sedan, but it's got the practicality of a utility vehicle. It really is classic crossover stuff. So if you're somebody that puts an emphasis on driving dynamics, this is right up your alley for sure. Now, what do you think about the outside? They did make some changes to this, yeah. and I think they look way better, especially all of the larger air openings in the front. They have a new bumper and grill front and back, right? Yeah, I think that it looks a little bit more athletic looking, maybe aggressive. I like the changes more than I thought there would be. Like Zach said, the front and rear bumpers, the diffuser, the side blades now kind of have a bit of a texture to them. You can get them in silver or black, or you can even get the body color of the vehicle. Other changes for 2022, they've added the sport design side mirrors yeah. with openings between the body and the mirror. It's a little sportier. This Macan now comes standard with 19 inch wheels. The previous model had 18 inch wheels and you can also get 20 inch and then of course these 21 inch. It seems to me that Porsche holds back on design when they introduce a brand new vehicle and they bring their A game, their best when they do a facelift. Yeah. We've seen that with Porsche Cayenne over the years. The facelift 
lifted model often looks better and I think that's the case with this. You could argue that the lower front part of the grill is kind of 911 inspired yeah. and the back, as Andrew mentioned, new diffuser and it's more wide open. That looks kind of Porsche 911 inspired. I think they brought their A game for the facelift. This new redesign gives the impression that it has a wider stance. Now we move our attention to the inside. Yeah. Now the previous model I kind of referred to as the Goldilocks interior yeah. because they had the bigger screen that we have here, but they had the traditional older buttons. Now yeah. those are gone and they've gone to the same kind of glass panel look they have with uh, the other Porsche mm -hmm. products. So where are you with this, Andrea? Well, we knew it was coming and this is the direction Porsche is going in, so we better all get used to it. Now one thing about this model, compared to the Cayenne that we drove recently, is instead of high gloss piano finish on the inside, yeah. they've gone with this matte. I like it. Well, I like it too. And I keep saying, why don't more manufacturers go with that instead of that high gloss trim? I think it looks really cool. It now comes with a new sportier steering wheel and a new shifter. We've noticed with our Porsches that we've owned is even after many years of use, when you clean them up, they, they still look new. They don't scratch and scuff easily. It's, it's high quality materials. Now the base model, Andrea, comes with a two-tone, not a two-tone seat, but a two material texture seat with yeah. Alcantara and leather. And then this one has the optional leather. Which one would you take? I don't know. I think that there's just so many to choose from. If you go online, the combinations are endless from Bordeaux red to a light gray to an all black interior. You can really make it your own. There's also stitching. I mean, you can get blue stitching, this papaya stitching, you know, this orange color. It really is a fantastic interior with a lot of soft touch materials and options. It all comes down to how much you want to spend. Well, there are packages, of course, the premium package for just over $2,500 Canadian and over $2,200 US gets the LED lighting with the Porsche dynamic system. You get heated rear seats and the Bose sound system, lane change assist. And if you want the premium plus package, which we have for over $5,000 US and just under $5,800 Canadian, you get the ventilated front seats the 14-way power seats, which you can also get an available 18-way. I know some people who have gotten those and love them. And the panoramic sunroof. Now, if you don't want to get a package, you don't have to, you can get that panoramic sunroof in the US and in Canada as an a la carte item for under $2,000. Everything is a la carte. You could buy the packages or yeah. you can just go in and pick and choose all the different things you want. Yeah. That's the way Porsche does it. Actually years ago they had no packages everything was a la carte mm. so they're simplifying it somewhat now you're watching this and you're going oh boy it's all perfect over there in Macon land <laughs> it's not entirely perfect because no. this thing is small in the back seat especially so yeah. if you're somebody that needs to cart kids around on a regular basis Porsche will sell you the Cayenne. That's the family friendly choice. This is sort of the empty nester, young couple, young professional kind of car. The back seat, what do you think? Yes, it's really tight back there. Our kids who are over six feet tall find it really tight. And the cargo area isn't the biggest in this no. class either. How did it do with carry on on the cooler? It did fine. They both fit and it offers 17.2 cubic feet behind the second row. 52.9 cubic feet in overall cargo capacity. This is not best in class. Take a look at our pictures of carry on in a cooler. We've got the GV70, the X3, and the GLC. And you can see in comparison that the Macan is certainly smaller. All right, some interesting questions with this one. Let's mm -hmm. get into it. Time now for questions, coffee, and cars. Your questions from Instagram. How do you find the all touch controls on the center console? It seems like a lot of buttons right next to each other on a flat surface. Did you get used to it? Yeah, you get used to it. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I prefer the old one with the real physical buttons and the chrome surrounding them doesn't matter what we like this is what you get and you get used to it <laughs> well when I got into this it was um, it took me a moment let's say to really get used to this 
it is very clean and modern and it's a very simple looking center console. I kind of like it. You know, you know, you know what, you, know what you would need, it, Andrea? I'll tell you exactly what you would need. What? You would need a microfiber cloth in the glove box so Andrea could clean it down. You don't yep. like the fingerprints on it, neither no. do I. No, and I need shows... to dust it and do my thing mm -hmm. all the time. But that's easy enough, isn't it's, it? Listen, this is not a deal breaker. No. It is not a deal breaker. No. The sum of the parts of this car are so high that I can deal with that. My experience is the base Macan is lacking on power and handling. Stepping up to the Macan S is a noticeable improvement. Is that still the same with this new model? Listen, it all comes down to your budget. Mm -hmm. If you can afford a Macan S, get a Macan S. If you can afford a GTS, get a GTS. Yeah. If you can afford the base model Macan, this is get a great product. Model. And you know what? It handles better. The only other vehicle that handles better than this, in my opinion, is the Alfa Romeo Stelvio. Ooh. It's kind of sharp. This one is a good all-rounder. And the Macan S is pretty special. It's got the 2021 GTS engine. So 375 horsepower compared to this at 261 horsepower is definitely going to make a difference. But at this price point, getting in on a Porsche, this is a wonderful vehicle. And the other thing you got to remember, they added more power for this year. So th here's what we don't hear a lot of people complaining about. Mm -hmm. Audi Q5s, right? Yeah. We don't hear people saying, oh, why would you get a Q5? It's terrible and it's slow. It's the same engine. Yeah. So well, I don't know why people give that car a pass and they don't give this one. Yeah, and this one has a firmer suspension and the steering is a bit heavier. It's more than precise. The, uh, it's yeah. a better car. It's, it's, a, a, better it's car. a better car. I got a quick fun fact, Ooh, Zach. good. I love those. So 80% of Macan buyers are new Porsche customers. Mm -hmm. that's, that's how popular this. And more and more women are buying Porsche Macans now. This is the model that they like. I it, can understand why. It's the gateway drug. That's how they get you in. We put out a lot of content each week. And if you're looking for a specific vehicle, it's really easy to find. All you do is you go to the YouTube search bar. First, you type in the name of the channel, Motormouth, and then the brand you're looking for. In this case, it's Porsche. Then you hit enter and all the videos that we've done show up. It's that easy. With most manufacturers upping the quality of their products, like Hyundai and Kia, for example, what are the premium brands like Porsche doing to stay ahead of the pack? I think How maybe what they're getting at is maybe is a Genesis close to this yeah or Genesis I don't really think he's thinking that it's something that's close it's just pointing out that is Porsche BMW Mercedes-Benz really upping their game compared right. to these Korean brands it all comes down to marketing mm -hmm. you know is a is a watch that keeps perfect time uh, uh, the same as a Rolex no because Rolex is this thing that people aspire to own is a bag that you buy at the local department store the same as a Louis Vuitton or a Chanel bag is it Andrea no no it's not so I mean it takes decades to build brand and that's where this shines and quality and reliability scores for Porsche are incredible JD power the dependability study that they put out in 2021 oh, by the way and that's that's three years of ownership so don't yeah. don't come down and say oh that's only brand new cars no that's after three years of ownership yeah and so Lexus is number one but Porsche is number two and I think that's really impressive and we've owned five Porsches and they're great cars and not a problem with any of them that's not quite true which was which one? Well, the 911s are a little heavy, oh, heavy on the maintenance. Oh, 911s. Well, <laughs> the thing about yeah. Porsche. Okay, I'm going to say it right out. If you buy one of these cars, any of them, the the maintenance is expensive. Yeah. Okay, but if you keep the maintenance up, they're very reliable. Yeah, so, you've got to stay on top of it. So what I meant by the 911s is they were they were more uh, maintenance heavy. Other than that, they were all very good. Now it's time for our hot topic. What's this one, Andrea? Is this the last ice to be fitted to the Macan? I've heard some reports that the next generation Macan will be electrified. Well, all the rumors are true. Porsche is moving towards an electrified Macan when this model is replaced in a few years. 
The big question is, will they still offer yeah. uh, gasoline variants at the same time? That's what we don't know. We don't know that, but I really think that they're going to have to offer at least this base model in a gas option. Otherwise, what is the pricing going to be on the electric vehicle? Even the non-luxury brands, those prices of their EVs are quite high. So maybe, just maybe, they've had great success with the plug-in hybrids with the Pan American and the Cayenne, yeah. maybe they'll bring out a plug-in version of this, not fully electric, but still having some gas engine on board. As, as you mentioned, Andrea, it all comes down to, yeah. even for Porsche, price point, because this one, the base model, is the one that most people buy because yeah. of the price. And it is well priced. You can get a Porsche for under $60,000. No wonder these are so popular. And as Andrea mentioned, this is the gateway into the brand. 80% yeah. of people have never owned a Porsche before because they look online and they go, hmm, I can get, wait, I can, a Porsche for yeah. similar to what I'd pay for some other brands. And that is a very powerful thing for the brand. Even after posting on Instagram today, I've had followers say to me, are you sure you have the pricing right? 58.5 for a Porsche Macan in Canada? Yeah, I sure do. Yeah, you gotta add things though. Just always yeah, remember that. that's it. All right, now while we're on it, why don't we get into what else you can buy in this category and what the prices are like. Yeah. For your consideration, four vehicles for you to consider. Up first is the BMW X3 with a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, 248 horsepower, and a starting price of just under $53,000. Next is the Genesis GV70 with a two and a half liter turbo four cylinder, 300 horsepower, and a starting price of $49,500. The Mercedes Benz GLC has a turbocharged four cylinder with 255 horsepower and a starting price of just under $51,000. Here's our used car alternative from CanadaDrives.ca. We chose a 2017 Audi SQ5 Dynamic Edition with just under 93,000 kilometers for $38,990. Click on the tab or the link in the description below to find more vehicles in this category from CanadaDrives.ca. So there are four luxury SUVs for you to consider. Let's get into the fuel economy, the warranty and all of that with our vital stats. Let's start with pricing. The base Macan starts at $58,500 Canadian and just under $55,000 US. Prices tested just over $75,000 Canadian. JD Power has not yet rated the 2022 Macan, but the 2021 model gets a quality and reliability score of 82 out of 100. Here's the fuel economy for the base engine. 12.4 liters per 100 kilometers in the city, 9.3 on the highway. That's 19 miles per gallon city, 25 miles per gallon highway. The Macan can tow 4,400 pounds and it comes with a four year 80,000 kilometer or 50,000 mile warranty. Lightning round, two things we like, two things we like to see improved. Well, I love how this drives and handles. It's a Porsche. And I think the updates to the styling are fantastic. What I'd like to see is Android Auto. This Macan doesn't have it. The Cayenne just got an upgrade to the infotainment system. This one didn't get it. And the size isn't for everyone. Before we go, we want to give a big shout out to Lewis at Porsche Center Vancouver yeah. for letting us have this for a couple of days. Dynamic, sporty, and oh so fun to drive. The Macan never disappoints. It has to be right for you and your situation size-wise, but if it does fit your lifestyle, it's a beauty. This video is brought to you by Canada Drives. Shop online for your next used vehicle and enjoy the convenience of to your door delivery and the confidence of a seven day love it or return it guarantee. Visit canadadrives.ca to learn more.